Hello, good morning. Uh, in this chess channel, in this video, in this chess channel, Robert and Petr Chess. My name is Petr Koutny. I am player around 2200 rating, so I am not a big fish in this chess world. But anyway, I believe that some of the big fishes will enjoy us really soon. So, I would like to speak about chess openings and today I would like to speak about how to understand chess opening and we will go step by step how to understand closed Sicilian. So, I believe you will enjoy these videos and uh, you will have an idea how to play a good chess. First game, which is very important and I like to say that good chess players are doing in this way. They are not trying to put in their memory 100 moves and 1000 variations. They are trying to find an interesting game which they like and they want to play moves which are similar or which are close into this game. So I would like to show you game between Antonio Angel and Mikhail Botvinnik. It's from the uh, year 1969 and this is a close Sicilian. And I will show in next three or four games that really good players are trying to follow this game and these moves. So this is a close Sicilian and uh, what idea of this of this game which I like to show you that black is moving or is playing the same move moves as is playing white so g3 and for you should be interesting that black is playing g6 so simple okay if white is moving black is moving the same way if white is moving um, to d3, black is moving to d6. So very simple chess. And now, if white is moving f4, simple black is moving f5. Uh, it's very simple how to play good opening moves. It's not a surprise this move. And uh, now is coming. We are coming to the, um, the way or the part of this game which is important or maybe interesting. Now it's not really uh, necessary if the white will play uh, his uh, king to h1. But anyway, this game will show us that it's not a bad idea. But for us, it's important to to follow this game which play Michal Botvinnik. So. Uh, King h8 So uh, this part of this game is important for many reasons The first reason that the first rule of the opening is to put all, all of all army into game and uh, the opening stadium or opening part is finished when one rook c to another rook so when your rook are only the last two pieces in your last uh, last lane, you finish the opening. This is a very important. Anyway, now is important another issue. So you will understand how to play this opening if you will see uh, where your army will stay. So uh, king h8, um, bishop g7. Knight f6, um, bishop h6, uh, e queen d7, another knight c6, and rooks. So, if you will remember this position and if you will keep in mind this position, you are able to play this game or this opening really, really well, and it's not so much important if. Your opponent will know many, many variations and know lots of moves in this opening because you will know and you will understand exactly what are you playing. In this opening, 
and because this is the most important game, um, white move uh, to g1 and black move rook uh, to e8. Uh, so now we have another important uh, picture where we see where the black army should stay. So I don't want to say uh, a piece by piece where they are saying you can see in the yellow colors, but this is the important important um, information for you that we are in the move 12, and if it's not necessary, black is not playing any more pawn moves. So the pawn structure is staying uh, stable and uh, you are not trying to change this pawn structure first what's for you important you are trying to put uh, your army um, into the play so this is the very important information your pawn structure is built and you are not trying to change now and now you are trying to move it with your um, army into the chess game. Now uh, Michael Botwinnik changed the pawn structure. So the pawn structure should look in your games like this. It's not important that you will play the same moves like Michal Botwinnik. It's important to try to set up the similar pawn structure and a similar um, setup of your knights bishops, rooks, queens and king, so your army. I believe here, after the move um, bishop g8, uh, there's the final important information from this opening. How to, how you should set up everything what you would like to play, what you would like to have in this opening. So, your pawn structure is, is in the red color, your army is in a green color. And now we can go very fast, very fastly into this game and we can watch how, how black won this game. But then we will see three or four more games in a, from the really good players and we will see that these players are trying to set up really similar position. Of course, not every time is is, um, is uh, so so um, it's not possible to do it same like Michael Botwinnik. But at least you know what you should have, what for you like to aim, and uh, what's important for you. So this is picture which is important, and we will come back in every every game which you will see in this video. So now we can see that um, the game is going to hill game. Maybe another another interesting uh, pawn structure should be this. Just to remember. And uh, maybe if I will tell you now something about this position, that this position is, is interesting because. Uh, Mainly, mainly in this opening, white is trying to play f4, maybe f5, g4, maybe g5, and white is trying to push his pawns on from the king side forward and trying to play very actively in this part of the game of the board. If you will see what you manage, what you manage in, um, in this position, that white is blocked in his part of the board when he would like to play good actively uh, active active moves now black should be active on his um, on his part of his board so black stopped nearly all possible plans in uh, from the uh, from the white side and now is black on the move to start playing actively on his part of the board. So this is the information how to play this opening.
okay g5 and now is it's really stop nearly all possible activity from the white on this part of the board if i will make uh, two halves so this half is still still open for some actively play maybe black will try to be active um, in this um, in this space anyway white has has really problem to do anything interesting or anything which will improve his position from this side so this is really how to play opening and this is really how to understand okay so let's see um, of course if if black would like to play somewhere here the first is to bring there your army mm, so yes you know where to play but you have to know that you have to play with your army not without so not surprised that the rooks are going to change their position and you know you can see that like move by move um, the black's army is going to improve they are going to try to find uh, a good uh, good squares for them and uh, they are not hurry they are not hurry they are trying to to find space they are uh, trying to find uh, life for them and once again it's very simple how the bag is playing and and nearly you can see what they black what black did he bring all his army into the game uh, into the queen side because uh, 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 another part of board is blocked and it's not important to have there his army it's important to move it where you will play so everybody is moving everybody is jumping in the place, in the space where the game will be played. B5, A6, and of course you want to open. And maybe here is another interesting, interesting information of this game. So let's see. White in this part, in this space, has only three, three men. Black. As five, five men will fight with three men. If you will open, open your chess position, your chess board, where you have more men, when you have strong army, you will really soon has an advantage. That uh, it's simple, like simple chess are. So. Now it's not time to close the position. Now it's time to open everything for you can open and you can open position by exchange of pawns. That's the nice rules. And you will open everything and you will improve your position. Okay, now you have two pawns against one. So if you go to ending, your pawns should move it very fast. Okay, now is the simple, simple pawn which can be in three moves like queen. Of course, it's not possible, and of course, it will not be next five moves. But this option is still on the board, and what's important is to block this pawn. So I believe these moves will be played early soon. Now it's only black. On the board and now is only black in the game so black will is really use his advantage okay this game is not how to win uh, um, good positions this game is how to play this just opening so we can only enjoy how the black won this game and the game is finished just now 
And uh, important message from this game is how to understand this position, how to understand and how to play this opening. So as much as possible, as long as possible, we are playing the same moves like white. Important is that really when white is playing f4, you have to play f5. And then you're trying to play the same moves exactly which is playing white. And for you it's important to push to set up your army like you can see now in the picture. This is the nearly the best way how to play this opening. This is another picture of how to set up this position. Another position, another picture how to set up a um, black spawn structure and another setup how to play it. So that's the as a, a pictures what to do main goal should be stop white activity on the hacking side and uh, use another activity or use your energy on the queen side maybe in the center okay so now we know uh, the really important games and we can try to see another games so this game will be um, between Antonio Angel and Paul Henko, it's from 1969, and uh, I will go to, from the first move. So, you know, if it's coming uh, move um, G3, you playing G6, you're waiting for F4, okay? We're playing the same moves, D3, D6 f4 we have to play f5 now you can see that um, we play the same moves okay in this position white move it uh, his king to h1 for us is nothing special and nothing new to play the same move we playing the bishop to e6 nothing special nothing hard Okay, and now we can see that uh, white did a new move, maybe, uh, not a move which we know it. And that's perfectly situation where I, con where I can say, don't worry, we are not playing, we are not trying to play um, variation. We are trying to play moves which we know. And, and we know that Something like this, uh, if we have on the, into our game in our this chess position, we are playing the good moves because this moves was played by Botvinnik, so these moves are good moves. Now, if I remember Botvinnik played something like this, okay, now black played rook c8 and um, after rook e8 rook e1 black played move b6 once again if you will remember this and you will really know it that this pawn structure is coming from the game of Botwinnik e6 Another picture that uh, is saying that this pawn formation, pawn formation, is coming from the Botvinnik game. Okay, now maybe should be something interesting if we will be in this position when wine, White is going to sit in the position and White is not going to change anything. White like should be waiting for the moves which will is doing black. Another good idea is, know, is to know this game and this maneuver. Okay, so we, uh, we see plus minus the position of the black's army, which is not far from the both wings games. Uh, what's new from this game is the move it, move. Um, 
knight from f6 to knight to c7 and move e5. So that's another important information how to set up how to set up pawn formation pawn formation in this game. And in this game, black is uh, fighting for the nice square d4. And once again, you can see that uh, this part of the board is really not the strongest part of the white's position. There are um, many weakness. There are uh, there's king which is not really safe. Uh, there's no attack and. Of course, and now it's not important that we are in the move 25th or 25, but it's important that um, we we enjoyed the play in the opening, we enjoyed the play in the close Sicilian, and we know I really, I really for many many moves from the first move to 17 or 18th, 18th move, what we can play. Okay, and after d5, uh, black believe is is doing very well because uh, white king is not safe. It's a, a really maybe big problem for every ending this pawn formation, and black should be of course very happy. I believe this game proved that it's. It's a good idea sometimes to know what we are playing and not to try to do the same mistakes as is doing a lot of chess players which are trying to learn moves. They are not trying to understand. We can look into another game. And this is a game between uh, uh, Valentin Kron and um, Hakarov Marat. So is the is the Russia and here is 1989. Okay, we're going to play the same opening. It's a close Sicilian, and uh, it's no really surprise that Black is waiting for the move f4, and Black is doing the same moves as is playing white. Now f4, we play f5. Maybe here we can uh, stop for a while and we can check what's happened if white will decide to change the pawn formation. And once again, if move b6 worked very well in many games uh, in past it should work now as well and just don't worry um, these moves are not moves which you has to know it these moves show should show only that the game should be played anyway a little bit in, in a, a different way Okay, but we are in this game where white play queen into d2 and white and black played our very very well known move a bishop g8. I believe this I believe that even this guy know game of Michal Botvinnik. Now, if you will stop a video, I should ask you which move do you think Black is going to play now? You have two seconds. Of course, 
if you know if you know if you understand what you are playing if you will understand that this pawn formation is good for you and if you will understand that you would like to have this pawn formation in your game because this pawn formations work really well for Botvinnik that we should be sure or we should believe that this pawn formation will work really good really well for us so play the same way of course uh, now we are in the move 14, 15, 16 in this position in this game and it's really not now important to know more moves and it's not now important and to study more now we have to play good chess, good moves so in this game white decide to exchange on f5 and v has to take it by pawn advantage that in the center uh, really soon we should have uh, more pawns than white and okay if it's a rule which is saying that if you have chance to play in the center of the board uh, is the best way so we saw it that in the first game of Botvinnik but when he closed everything and played into the wings now if we have the chance and the option to play in the center of the board uh, I believe that it's a good idea to do it this game at the end um, was draw but uh, for us was not really important how this game and and it for us was important that the chess opening close Sicily and moves from this game was coming from the game which we know and was coming from the game of Mikhail Botvinnik. So we can have a look at another game and uh, this is a game between player 2275 and 204065. Okay, now let's watch this game. I believe that after watching this video, you are able to play close to the end in a really high standard. And in this game, Black followed the move of Michal Botvinnik. Uh, we saw some moves that um, Black. You should try move rook to c8. I feel prefer by myself rook to e8. And b6, okay, it's 30 moves, and we need only one move to have the same position like Botvinnik. And this move is going to be, to be happen now, and we have exactly the same position what is on the board. We enjoyed the opening, we enjoyed the close city land. We are proud that we are playing the same moves which played uh, the best player maybe in the chess history, Michal Botvinnik. And we can enjoy the middle game. And that's the information which I want to give you in this video. To understand is to understand what we are playing is 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 really fun is really good and is really much more better than to learn move by move okay now it came d4 so the center is under fire at least at least um, white understand that he has no any chance to play his standard plan uh, which is attack from the uh, king side so okay, he's playing in the center, and let's see for our experience how this will be finished. So center is open, but we are fine like black if the center is open because nearly everybody, nearly everybody is waiting for the center. Nearly everybody 
is going to watch Central and nearly everybody has a job in the Central from the black side. So okay, this is this good like this looks like good moves. Uh, anyway, nearly all moves in the center are are good. So this move to d5 is interesting move. Okay, if white is going to lose any, uh, some kind of material, believe the game is end. And game is finished really soon. We are in the move 20 and white is standing in the winning position. Okay, we can have a look maybe one more game. Yes, if this is a game between um, white is player to 2300 uh, and black is 2500 player. It's from year 1997. So our opening f5, we're going to play what we know. I, I prefer this move, I prefer uh, to play a move which I know, so rook e8. So of course, if it's, if it's up to you, you can play rook to c8. So okay, uh, now we have the same position d4 and now we can remember uh, the game which we saw and here looks like black will have one pawn up super let's move 22 and black is winning Black is winning. Anyway, not important that black is winning. Important is that if you will have a look here, and you will see position which played player 2500 in the year 1997. And uh, I will try to go into this position. This is a game of Michal Botvinnik. And I'm sure that you see the same position which was played in 1969. And I wish that this position we will play in uh, 2018, 2019, 2020 because this position is is really good. This position is good position. This position is position which you are looking from across Sicilian uh, and you can enjoy it. You can enjoy it because you will understand what you are playing. You will understand where you can move your army, you will understand what pawn formation formation is good for you and you know how to play against uh, close Sicilians if white is is going to play this opening. Okay, that's that's everything what I would like to say you in this first video of this channel. I hope that you enjoy it and uh, I believe that uh, we will see each other in next videos because as I told you um, it will not be only my videos because I am not a big fish I am only player 2200 and really soon will join us um, top GMs okay so thank you for watching thank you for any like for any any comments and I hope I will see you soon. Thank you and I wish you a really good chance.